Keelan, congratulations, fantastic news. You signed a new contract and you yeah, stay with the Osprey till 2020 at least. Yeah, it's nice to finally sign it and it's nice to know that I'll still be at home and obviously be the region which, which I support and look to be here for a long time. When you look back at the last couple of years, I remember talking to you two years ago, you'd signed a development contract. Last summer, you signed your first professional contract and here we are again now after 14 tries in 19 games in your first season as a senior pro. It's some some development and some acceleration. Yeah, it's come pretty quick, to be honest. It hadn't sort of sunk in yet, but yeah, it's, like I said, it's nice to be here and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying my time here. When we spoke last year, I think you were talking about looking forward to training with the senior team and potentially getting some Anglo-Welsh games under your belt. It was a bit more than that in the end. Yeah, I didn't really uh, expect to be playing as much as I did. Um, but I thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, yeah, I look back at it now and look back at last season and it was, it was great to be involved and looking forward to this year and uh, staying fit and hopefully keep playing. You obviously talk to it, took to it like a duck to water. Tries were for fun. You don't want me saying you're one of the smaller members of the squad, you're a smaller uh, winner. Yeah. So how do you find the physicality and the step up on that way? Yeah, obviously um, obviously don't do looking for the contact. So I obviously try and try to use my feet and stuff like that. So. It's, uh, it hasn't been too bad. Obviously, it's senior rugby and there's a lot of older guys and bigger guys, but yeah, it's, it's sort of the same game and yeah, it's, uh, it's quite enjoyable. And you look over the last year as well as the impact you made with the Ospreys and scoring tries in big games. You've been involved in the Welsh national squad, still waiting on that first cap, you've come agonisingly close, but you've now been called up to the New Zealand tour last year, you've been on tour this summer for the Tonga Samoa matches, and you're in the squad in the autumn and made it onto the bench. Itching to get that cap, itching to make the next step. Yeah, obviously, uh, it was great experiences uh, being in the squad and in and around the players and coaches. Uh, it is a bit of a step up from what we used to year, and it was a big step up for me. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed the tour. Um, it was a good experience to get out there and see different cultures and stuff. But yeah, it's coming so close, but just need to keep on working hard now uh, on the training paddock, and uh, fingers crossed it might come. Obviously, there were a couple of question marks at the end of the summer tour with some of the comments about your non-involvement in the matches, but let's clear that up clearly. Either. They're just non-selection for various reasons, and there was nothing more mysterious than that. No, it was, everything kicked off, really, but, yeah, it's, it's nothing more than that, really. It was a bit of a selection, but, yeah, nothing nothing too dramatic. That's enough looking back. We're looking forward. What are your ambitions? It's hard to say, probably, based on the growth you had last year. You don't want to predict too much, but what are your ambitions, your hopes for the coming season? Um, just staying fit and hopefully keep on playing. Um, there's a lot of competition here, so obviously trying to keep that space, the starting space, and uh, yeah, just keep training hard and, and working.